Greetings, worthless peons! And congratulations, young one! You have defeated your first champion, and therefore you are now a Keeper Aspirant. Oh, neat. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? Because there are things going on in the sanctuary that trouble me. I heard that there's some weird young pervert running around talking about banging all the monsters. Would you happen to know anything about that? Oh, no, sir. Not me at all. This is certainly a... You see, m monsters cannot become this powerful by normal means. And champions usually don't accept other monsters beside them or a keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly. Quite rare in nature. I enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger. But even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the sanctuary. I regularly receive metal letters by Vero Mayo from rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the sanctuary fighting against champions. There's big monsters. Go kill them. Got it. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself. But at least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I trapped a champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it if you feel up to the task. Oh, I got the mountain path key. It's gonna kick my ass. Before you go, there is one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. This lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Yes. I got apples. Potatoes. Kinda boring. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But a monster only profits from the last three food items you gave it. Now, good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a keeper aspirant now. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows, maybe you will be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. There's always only one in a couple lifetimes. We can take care of that other champion right now, or we can go back to the Keeper's stronghold first. The choice is yours. I'm gonna be real with you, man. I wanna beat the shit out of more monsters. But, uh. Let's talk about the mountain path key. Old Buran gave us this key that leads to a champion he locked up somewhere on the mountain path. If we feel brave enough, we should take on that challenge. We should head back to the east of the Keeper's stronghold. Meh. Nah. Alright, let's up skills. Yeah, we can increase his beatings. Okay, let's uh, get some more mana upkeep going on. Let's get us some better claws. I've already fed him potato. Apples and a walnut. Bob the Blob is now very well fed. Wait a minute. Was I missing something? Yes! I am! I cannot reach it! Swizzle sticks! Whoop! Already been that way. Ah! All right, what was this way? Oh yeah. Nope, that didn't work. Here, I thought I was being clever. Now, as it turns out, I'm still just a dummy. Whoa, tits! There was a monster there. Okay. Slime shot. Slime all over that cat boy. Yeah. Porn win? Did I have my fire claws? No, I have my regular claws. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ. All right. This is Monster Keeper. Hey, lovely game, isn't it? Yes. You like it. You like it a lot. You want to go and buy this game right now. Yes. Yes, you do. You want to support the creator of this game. To give them more money. Because you like this game a lot. It's a good game. You should get it. You should play it for yourself. For the deep lore. For Bob. And for the exciting battles. Intriguing tactics. Astounding monster abilities. And Bob. Do it for Bob. Be a fucking channel slogan. Okay. So far the game isn't too hard. I expect the difficulty will go up eventually. Okay. What's up, Balboa's attack? And continue on our merry little way with the adorable sprite work and smooth animations. And I don't care about these things right now. I don't want to fight them. Not because they beat me, but because they just kind of annoy me right now, you know? These cats, though, I want your eggs. I already have a yaoi egg. Give me your cat eggs. I want them. Yeah, sure, I might have to shove my hand right up your cat hole to grip out your cat eggs myself. But if I have to, by golly, I'll do it. Give me your eggs. This is not a request. This is an order. I want your eggs. And I want them now. Give me your eggs. Give me your eggs now. I want your eggs. Give them to me. Give egg. I'm bleeding. Ah! Well, that was terrifying. I just got fucking cut, and god damn it. I go grind the cats for a while off camera. But before that, let's open this. And. Is that the champion? He sure looks like a champion. Whoa, tits, that's a champion. I see. This raises a very interesting question. Are people monsters? Or rather, are religious people monsters? That's not a question I really think I can answer. Holy balls, he has 25... 2,500 hit points. Luckily, I have access to Leaf Slash! Ha! And let's light this fucker up. Just so we can have the uh, damage over time going off on him. Oh, ow. Oh, jeez. This is not a religious monk. This is a Chinese monk. Help! Let's get that armor break on him. And then we'll switch back to just, uh, just chucking acid at him. Slime at him. You know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing, you know? Oh, man, yeah, he has stone rain. We can just... Throw rocks at him until he dies. This is a champion. This is kind of sad, actually. Restore! Slime shot! 
I have a slime shot attack too. I just <laughs> can't legally show it on camera. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I get really, really bad uh, runny nose in like the winter and shit. Uh, uh, slime him! Punch him! Yeah! That was a champion? Alright, he's got a bandana plus one out of it. Nice. Friendly neighborhood. But he had treasure. A sustain ring. He also had a shortcut with more treasure. An ocarina. I'm giving Balboa an ocarina. And I'm giving Frank a bandana. Plus one. I don't know what's going on anymore. Huh. <sighs> cats. We're fighting cats, that's what's going on. Everything makes sense now. Make it rain. Punch him. Mm. Nice. Stone rain. Very nice. Ow. Punch combo. Slime shot. And a stone rain. For victory! I'm getting gooder at this. Not good, but, you know, gooder. Yowie! Let us. Pretty sure neutral. Wait a minute, what's that do? Kill all monsters in the party by 4% of this monster's max health. Okay, never mind. Let's work on getting that, you know, team heal ability. Seems very useful. Slime shot. You can take down the cat real fast. Everyone's getting so strong compared to all of these uh, beginner enemies. Man, I'm so proud of my boys. This might be the kind of game that needs longer episodes to really show it off. Oh well. Been playing this game for about an hour now. Yeah. Not bad, really. I like this game. First time playing it, this game is really solid. It's a good game. It's a good game for bad people like me. Where's my cat eggs? Son of a bitch. Come, Bob. Bob de blob. Bobbity blobbity. Care about those. Only thing in this area that I care about is up here. I'm after that pussy. Yeah. Slime shot. Blah. Punch combo actually deals a lot more damage. Punch! 
Stone Rain! And if he crits... More! If he critted more... At least no one's bleeding yet. Woo! Someone took some damage. Leaf Slash! Really need some AoE attacks. At this point, we can just take out just about any of them with a regular attack. I'll go after the non-poisoned one first. Let the poison finish off the other two. Trust me, I'm a strategician. Math, ma math, magician. Tactagish. Me, I'm fight smart. Cat Zerker egg. Yes. I got the boozy. All right, uh, let's uh, get you some of that. Uh, increased magic missile. Let's get you some of that. Uh, improved mana regeneration. Let's get you some of that. Uh, okay. Critical heat, so he'll be burning things a lot more. Now, give me a second while I go and try and find a good name for our Cat Zerker. Alright, I'm a lot of ideas. He's named, uh, Puss. As in Puss in Boots, because I ran out of ideas. Puss. Destroyer of Furniture. There's a lot of skill points. Alright, what do you do? Claw. Slash. Plus bleed. Access to air sickle. Also has access to fire claws and can apply regeneration. I'm gonna make you an expert swordsman. Okay, let's get fire claws. You have life steal, precision for increased criticals. Let's increase your criticals further. Air sickles, you gain access to. Oh, wait, never mind. Well. Uh, Puss, you have now replaced Frank. Good job, Puss. And I don't have any weapons for you right now. But I do have stuff like this belt, which will increase your crit damage. This vital ring, which will increase your health. And this gun, which will increase your crit chance and your defense. You have a crit chance of 20. That's fine for now. All right, now... Let's end this episode off here, I suppose. I'm going to keep on going. I'm just going to basically uh, get to the thingamajig. Um, with all that being said, I'm actually going to go back and check for more treasures. Might get back to this. Uh, might get back to this title eventually. With that being said. Toodaloo, darlings.